It happens in seconds. New video shows two men walking up to a rideshare vehicle, then shooting and killing the driver. It's just, just unbelievable. And, um, and uh, the community now is just, just um, they're very fearful. A 52-year-old man working a second job killed at Point Blank. Good evening. I'm Julie Hayner. And I'm Mike Meeback. That shooting happened Sunday morning in Oakland's Little Saigon neighborhood along 13th Avenue there in East Oakland. New at 10, KTVU's Amber Lee live in Oakland where family and friends are devastated and the community in the neighborhood, Amber, terrified. That's right, Mike. The man's family and his girlfriend tell me they cannot believe he's gone. Police are offering up to a $12,500 reward for information leading to an arrest. They have also released surveillance video of the incident. In observance of Chinese tradition, the family of Patrick Khan Wu Feng is honoring him by burning incense at the location where he was shot and killed in East Oakland. They say he was in his car waiting to deliver a food order for a ride-sharing service. His girlfriend, Judy, who doesn't speak English, asked me not to show her face. In Cantonese, she describes the 52-year-old as a good, hardworking and responsible man who took care of her and his parents. She says she's devastated. This is surveillance video of two men walking up and opening Fung's car door. The suspects can be heard saying something, and four seconds later, a single gunshot. Fung died at the scene. His family tells me his cell phone and wallet were still there and that the suspects ran to a dark-colored SUV parked around the corner and fled the scene with the help of a getaway driver. Personally, I was devastated. Community leader Jim Wynn is working to help Fung's family. To see it, uh, you know, a, a, a young man to die like that, it's just, just unbelievable. <laughs> Judy says she's struggling to accept that Fung's life ended suddenly and senselessly. She tells me shortly before he was killed, he had dropped her off in Chinatown to shop. Fung delivered food on weekends to make extra money on top of working full-time at a warehouse. Judy tells me she's so scared now, she's afraid to leave their home. When I sit in the car, I have to look around because I think that someone's going to rob me. You know, what, what, what kind of... Uh, Oakland are we living in? The family tells me they hope police catch the suspects quickly and say they, dis they want them to have life in prison without the possibility of parole. They say they just don't want anyone else to be harmed the same way. Julie, Mike. And just yesterday, I mean, the police chief of the city, Amber, came out and said that that neighborhood, it's one of the toughest police beats in the entire city of Oakland. And I'm wondering, you know, when it comes to those who live there, when it comes to those who work there, uh, is it come to the time where it's like day in and day out that they just live and work in fear? I had a chance to speak with a number of business owners in the area. They tell me things happen, crimes happen daily, on a daily basis, robberies, attacks, break-ins, and they're just tired of it and they're scared. Well, hopefully police do get more information on that black SUV and, and track down the individuals who are responsible for this killing. Amber Lee, live tonight in Oakland. Amber, thank you.